Hey guys, new piece of equipment means obligatory unboxing video. I have treated myself to the Yamaha Stage Pass 1K Mark II Line Array Portable Amplification System. <sighs> um, I'm sparing you my pretty face uh, because I have got a bit of a cold and I'm not looking my best. Um, so this is going to be just a quick unboxing video. What do you get inside the box? How does it look when it's set up? Initial reactions, that kind of thing. Um, this isn't going to have any sound bites in it. I'll save that for another video when I'm feeling better. Fighting off a bit of a cold now, as you can probably hear. Anywho, uh, so this is how it arrived. Um, very, very heavy box, 32 kg. Um, on some boxes, you get just a brown box uh, saying the name of the company. On here, we've got a proper breakdown. Uh, we have got uh, what you're going to get, how the uh, the column system looks when you're storing it, how the mixer looks, um, the fact it's got Bluetooth, very, very nice. Digital mixing optimized. Optimization? Operation. Digital mixing operation. Fantastic. Um, hopefully this is going to put up with my shakes. Um, anything on the other side? Yes. What's it good for? It's good for a small band, a mobile DJ, and corporeal audiovisual. Well, I'm none of those things, so hopefully it's still going to be all right for me. Anything on this side? No, just a pretty picture of the whole thing. Wonderful. Let's get it open. So as I'm unboxing this, let me give you a quick talk through. Sorry, I'll go this way. So as I'm unboxing this, let me give you a quick talk through as to why I have it. Um, I had the Bose L1 compact system for a while. I had the Bose uh, L1 Pro 8. Um, and I'm not a fan. I'm going to save that for another video. But I was on holiday in Dublin and I saw this bad boy and it ticks all the boxes for what I need. Uh, we're going to see if that actually is the case, of course, um, because nine times out of ten these days, some things look the best, but actually they don't turn out to be what you want them to be. So, why do I like this? I like this because it's got an actual mixer on the back, you know, proper knobs that you can twist, like the old days. Um, it's got a load of inbuilt stuff as well, so you can quickly edit things on the fly and a live gig, but you can also delve deeper and get the exact sound you want. Okay, first things first. Nice big flat piece of cardboard. All right, what do we have here? On the top we have ooh, a lovely carry case. Very nice Yamaha logo on the top. So let's get you open, let's have a look at you. Lovely, see this straight away, I'm a fan. Aha, got it. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. I'm such an idiot. So this bit goes on the bottom. Instructions, lovely. Read those front to back later. And then a beautiful kettle lead. When I've opened previous things in the past, it's not had the UK extension on it. So I'm very happy straight away that I can plug that in immediately and get that going. Here we go. So we've got a very well packaged one, two, three little speakers going on, extension speakers for the high ends and the mids. And then here is our great big sub. Uh, so let's pull it out. Let's see how that looks. So of those three, it feels like we've got two plastic ones because they're quite light and one much heavier one, which will be the top for the mid speakers. And then we have the Behemoth Sub. There we go. So hopefully that was actually quite a nice reveal. Very nice. Like a granite feel on the top. So textured, very textured and rugged all around the outside. Uh, really nice meshed front. Uh, yeah, that's built like an absolute tank. Excellent. Um, that's also too small for someone to put their drink on. All the better. Nothing worse than having drunk patrons putting their drinks on your equipment and spilling them and breaking them. This has happened numerous times. Okay, let's have a closer look. And now we come round to the actual hardware at the back. Okay, look at this. Um, proper look at this. Knobs you can actually twist. <laughs> Knobs. You can actually twist. This is what I like. I I like a piece of equipment I can get my hands on and just alter it really, really easily in a live setting. 
Um, I enjoy the online stuff, like the app stuff, which this has. Um, but I like the fact that you can just get on there and turn it up, turn it down really quickly. Just edit what you want immediately. And plus, look at that! You've got a main volume. So you can set your levels and you can put out your main. Wonderful. Um, you can This little, little EQ thing, what type of thing are we doing? Music, speech or club mode. Um, four different types of reverb. Reverb settings at the top. EQ is really interesting. Instead of giving you a graphic EQ, because that would be huge on here, um, they've given you like a, you can choose the shapes so underneath there. You see here it says, like so that's taking the low end, that would be taking the low end off, and then you're bringing it up to kind of there, and then this way you're scooped. So if you want to scoop some mids out, very, very cool. And again, this is just like an entry level EQing. You can jump in and really get to grips with the EQ in a lot more detail. What else we got? Line in up here. Um, stereo, monitor mode, ducker mode. I need to look into ducker mode a little bit more. And then you've got a monitor out, which is excellent. Some Most of these things don't have monitor outs. Then we've got our inputs on the back. Nice and simple. Reverb foot switch, very handy. Okay, so you can send a line out there. Other outputs, you can link up to another one of these. And you can out to monitor and you can link up. You see, that's really useful. Um, yeah, loving that already. Uh, okay, let's put it together, see what it looks like with the extensions. It should be relatively straightforward because it's just a hole and one connection. So, uh, okay, that's that. Smooth side that way. I'm going to try it. Oh, that's smooth. And there's no wiggle there at all. With some of the other speaker systems I've tried, there was, if you gave it a little wiggle, yeah, it was moving left and right. And these things, excuse the face, I've done so many gigs where people will be talking to you and they'll just be talking to you and they'll lean in like that and it just pushes the whole thing. It's, I've seen it happen so many times. Hopefully it won't happen with this. That's really nicely tightly locked in. Let's go for another one. The actual one with speakers in it. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. Very, very cool, like meshed hexagonal, I don't know if you can see that in the light, hexagonal grill, lots of speakers in there. Very heavy piece of kit, and it should just go like that. Bit of wiggle, but then it wouldn't be because it's a very heavy piece. There's only so much you can do there. So let's have a look at that in more detail. Okay, so that is it fully erect. <laughs> Had this with the bows last time, and yeah, I'm still a child, guys. So apologies. Um, but yes, so I'm six foot four, and I'd say that's about six foot eight ish tall. Just having a guess. Let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. I love that design. Look at that. Come on, zoom in or focus. There we go. Lovely design. And there it is, all packed down. Um, a really nice compact PA system all in one so you, you've got that's there for your handle lift it up cover it up when it's in storage there's your three speakers one two three for extensions at the back you've got loads of space in there for guitar cables or power cables and another one at the bottom there so maybe kettle leads at the bottom and anything else more valuable at the top so it doesn't get knocked too badly. Um, yeah, great bit of kit, really portable. Um, we'll see how that translates to live gigs, but yeah, just great being able to put all that down into one great big unit, as opposed to having a carry case separately, like with most other line array systems. Really, really impressed by that. Good work, Yamaha. So there we go, guys. That is a whistle-stop unboxing video of my new piece of gear. I've got some really high hopes for this piece. Um, I've heard it a couple of times in the flesh, not through me, but through others, and it sounds incredible. I'm gonna be creating some other videos in the future about how I use it, what I'll use it for, uh, what, it, what it sounds like ultimately, and how it works in a live situation, how it compares to other PAs I've used, all that sort of stuff. Um, so thanks for checking out this video. I hope it's helped a few of you understand what is in the box and what you can expect if you were to buy one. Um, any suggestions, do let me know. Um, any paracetamol, that sort of thing you want to send my way, do also let me know about that because uh, I'm feeling pretty rotten. So apologies for the uh, somewhat all over the place uh, language that was used today.
Anyway, as always, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the channel. And uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Cheers.